Hey everybody, today I have a Hits and Misses video for you for the month of November and I cannot believe that the month is already over. It's almost New Year's, I just think that's crazy. I don't know where this month went, but it went way too quickly for me. So I'm pressed for time today, so I'm just going to get right into the video. And the first hit for me is this Chanel eyeshadow in Beige La May, which if you saw my um, Chanel Holiday 2011 video, this was featured in it. And it's a beautiful warm beige with a hint of rose. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it, and it's this shade right here on my hand. And I will try and move and see maybe if you can see some of that glitter but I don't know if you can, but this is just a really beautiful eyeshadow. It's expensive. It was $28.50 in the States, but it has a really great texture. It's really soft, finely milled. It just goes on so smoothly, and even though it's got that micro glitter in it, you know, not like serious full-on glitter particles like the chunks like Urban Decay is famous for. Really fine glitter. It doesn't feel gritty when you touch it. It's just really beautiful. It lo it's a long-lasting one for me and it is a really subtle shade but it has a nice bit of just a little something extra with the sparkles in it. It's just really pretty and it's one of those that I think can take you from pretty much every possible occasion that you could even think of during the holiday season. It's a limited edition shade, so I think that just, I stumbled over those words. It's a limited edition shade, there we go. So if you're interested in this, definitely check online. I think that it's still available in some stores, but it's beautiful and I highly recommend it. The next eyeshadow, what, what is wrong with me today? I think because I'm in a rush, I'm stumbling. I don't have an eyeshadow for you. The next hit for me is a, um, a liquid lipstick and it's by e.l.f. and this is in pink lemonade and I am so impressed with this it's this color right here so it's kind of a like a bit of a raspberry I have it on my lips right now it translates a little more um, muted on the lips than it does when swatched on my hand but I love this it was a dollar and it's definitely more of a lip gloss I think than a liquid lipstick I would say more of a very um, a thicker, more opaque lip gloss. So it has a sponge tip applicator and it's one of those like twisty ones. See, there we go. You can see that all that color is coming out. And it just goes on so nicely. Here, I'll, I don't know what else I'm going to do with it, so I'll just show you a swatch again. <laughs> it goes on so nicely. It's only a little bit sticky. So it's not stick free, but it's not sticky at all. If you're used to maybe a MAC lip gloss, you would think that this isn't sticky at all. But um, I really like this. It's really hydrating, really creamy, and it is infused with peppermint oil, so it smells and tastes amazing. It definitely is really refreshing on the lips, and I just love this. I've been wearing this constantly since I bought it. The only downfall I can think of is that it goes through pretty quickly, because I mean, I think it was filled to about maybe there. So there's not a ton of product in here, but for a dollar, I could fill this up. I could go through it and just purchase another one time and time again, and would still spend less than I would probably spend on another gloss. So definitely a good item to check into. And then the last hit for me this month is from Lush, which is one of my favorite stores of all time. And this is this had been a comforter bubble bar, which is my favorite item that Lush makes. This is all that is left. So I completely acknowledge the fact that you can't see what the whole thing looks like, so I apologize. But um, it's a hot pink um, bar, and it smells like black currant. So it's fruity, but it also has a little bit of bubblegum scent to it. And normally, they're a, the Comforter Bubble Bar is pretty big. It's about this big. And it just makes the most amazing creamy bubbles, and they last for a really long time. But um, I find that I don't need the whole bar. So I, whatever I said, it was about that big. And as you can see, it's pretty thick. So it's about an inch, maybe an inch and a half thick, so pretty wide. And I just break it into sections. And the reason that I have only this much left is because I have actually um, a bathtub that has jets on the side. So when I fill up my bathtub, I learned this the hard way. If I put the jets on, if I have too much bubbles, I just get bubbles all over the place. They go up the wall, they overflow over the side, so it's not worth it. I use only a very tiny bit each time. So this is all that I use for one bath. And I definitely need to go and hit up another Lush store because this is the only Lush item that I have left for baths. And um, now I'm all excited because I think I'm going to do that this week. But anyway, 
Um, so I like to use maybe if you don't have jets, and it really depends on the water pressure you have, but I suggest starting with a small amount because you can always add more, but it's definitely if you put in too much, you can't take those bubbles away. So um, maybe start with like a quarter of the bar and see how much you need from there. But I absolutely love this bubble bar. It's one of my favorites. It smells amazing and it turns the bath water pink. It's just such a pleasant experience and this time of year when all I want to do when it's cold outside is soak in a bathtub and just have candles going and just relax. That is definitely my go-to item. So that's it for my hits this month and now it's on to my misses. I only have two and the first is this elf blush in tickled pink and this was from their studio line. It was three dollars and I had heard so many good things about their blushes and I was really excited to try them, but unfortunately this one just does not deliver. I really like the color. It's like a muted, like rosy pink, but there's no color payoff. Like I was just like, okay, do you see like nothing, nothing comes out. This is layered so much on my hand and I don't think you'll be able to see that because frankly I can barely see it. It went on pretty chalky too and it just had next to no color payoff so I would have to just apply layer after layer after layer after layer after layer to get it to show up and that's my first experience with an elf blush and I'm really not impressed I'm but it is a new shade so I'm just hoping that maybe that's just a stinker and that the other ones are a lot better I'm not gonna give up on elf blushes at all by any means, but definitely avoid this tickled pink. Oh, and one thing that does bother me, I can get I can get over it, but I bought it like this. It came out. There um was super glue. I mean it's not a big deal, I can super glue it back in, but that's just annoying. The very first use, like I took it out of the packaging and it came out like that. I'll, I'll live though, that's not a big deal. And the last miss for me this month is something that I don't actually have on me anymore because I hated it so much that I returned it and that was the Dior Couture Golds palette which was the limited edition eyeshadow palette for the holiday collection. And I did a video on it, reviewing it, if you want to see that you can click right here. I absolutely hated it, I just thought that for $60 it had very little color payoff and um, just really wasn't worth it. However, I have seen people who have warmer skin than I do or darker skin and it definitely performed a lot better on them. So I'm thinking that maybe it's because I am so fair with cool um, undertones that maybe it just didn't show up on me. Maybe the warmer tones in the skin bring out the golden nuances in the shadows. That may be completely the case, but for me, so if you've got if you've got a skin tone like I do, honestly, not worth it. It was a big bust and I was so disappointed because it was $60 and it looked so pretty when I was playing with it at the store. So, um yeah, I returned that. I got my money back, so I'm happy. That's it for my hits and misses for the month of November. And again, I still cannot believe that it's going to be December tomorrow. That's crazy. Um, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!